Hey guys, it's Kevin from Mix Coach, and this is the Mix Coach Minute brought to you by Mix Coach member. Uh, for details, click the link below and find out more about uh, the best mixing community around, in my opinion, anyway, my humble opinion. Um, today's episode, I was going to answer a question that I've had a couple of uh, people to ask me. One guy in particular who was a Mix Coach member said, uh, I have a client who will not commit to coming in to to let me record. And it made me think, how would you secure that person to come in? And I want to tell you a trick or a hack that I told him that I think would work for you. If you flip the script on the, on the person who you can't get to commit, uh, uh, in this particular case, it was a, a guitar player who my mix coach member thought was a really good guitar player and he really wanted to record with him. But the guy just never could get the nerve to to go into the recording studio. And I know the feeling because I, I think creative types are kind of that way. Although we seem kind of self, self-absorbed sometimes, um, when I know when I, when I record, sometimes I have to hack my brain into believing that I'm not doing this for me, I'm doing this for someone else. Or it won't happen because I'll feel like, you know, my, I'll just feel like it's too self-serving. So I told him, here's what you do. You call your friend and you say, hey, I've got two great mics that I think would sound awesome on your guitar. And I'd like for, here's the keywords. I'd like for you to help me out. Not, you know, do me a favor or, or maybe I could, you know, use your guitar. Or if you flip the script on him and you make him think that he's doing you a favor to come in and try your studio out, then, then do that. And here's what I told him to say. I said, I'm in traffic now, so um, tell him I've got two great mics that I think would sound great on your guitars. Will you do me the favor? I wanted to get a great sounding guitar and a great player to really give these mics um, a good run and to see if I need to keep them or sell them. So will you come in next Tuesday or Wednesday and let me record your, you and your guitar on these mics? Well, the guy committed to doing it for my mix Coach member guy. And uh, I'm not mentioning your name because you may want to stay anonymous. I don't know. But anyway, he he came in and he was able to secure um, this talent to come into his studio. Now, whether or not it's, you know, if you go about it this way, it probably won't be a paying gig. But it will definitely loosen your client up to say, this guy is good and I should work with him more often. Uh, and it will, you know, it's like a trial a trial offer. You can get the you can get your client to come in the studio. So a good hack to get a person into your studio is just simply, you know, tell them that you've got a good piece of. Now you don't need to lie about this. Tell them I've got a great microphone that I think would sound great on your vocal, and I would love to try it out on you. Will you bring a soundtrack, anything you'd want for me to record, and uh, and let's let's go to my studio for an hour or two hours. You know, no long term term commitments or anything. But can you try out my my microphone most likely they will start thinking that they're doing you a favor or they're they're helping you out as a you know as somebody they would like to get to know but maybe they're too intimidated to come in the studio maybe you need to ask them if they can help you so that's one way that you can get a client to commit to coming in and I know it sounds like a dirty trick but sometimes people don't know that you're the best solution for them and sometimes they just need for you to let them know that. So that's one way. That's one way to do it. I hope that you can use that information and get more clients because I know that you can only watch so many tutorials about how to set a compressor and how to work with an EQ or how to make a snare drum sound. At some point, you need some advice on how to get clients, and that's what this episode of the Mix Coach Minute is all about. So I hope you've enjoyed my rolling uh, episodes of the Mix Coach Member. And I hope this is helping you. Please comment below on the Facebook page and uh, let me know if I can answer any questions for you. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.